got your t-shirt you didn't let fingerprints and all you are so dumb you are really dumb for real you don't have to come and confess that you did it. we're looking for you we we gonna find you i'm letting you know now so you can run and tell that It seems like you're petty. It seems like you're petty. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. TGIF. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. The champ is here. What we got on the docket for today? Who are we going to slay? Because we didn't come to play. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Try back again to hit you all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week. Also, my day is going absolutely Stupendous. Big shout out to all channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show, and much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Texas by way of Mesquite. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Texas, my home state. And big shout out to everybody in the great city of Mesquite, Texas. Now, this story comes to me by way of One Happy Nails and also a few other people inside the Mesquite, Texas area and also the Houston area. Because you all know that's where I'm from, that area where Houston will be exact. And I have a lot of people in Mesquite, Texas that watch the show. So thank you all for sending me this uh, video about this broke HO. You already know. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers. And also, yes, to the victim. One happy nails for sending me this story. Because guess what? You know we have a good track record of tracking these people down. Now, as you all can tell from seeing this video, that we are dealing with, yes, one little skinny broke helpful and one big broke helpful and the big one oh my god lord helper i know one thing she didn't get that big by accident let's put it that way now these two women yes these two helpers decided to go in one happy nails just a few days ago and went up beside this business and racked up a 170 dollar bill and upon them getting ready to pay for the bill which they were supposed to pay for it they decided to take off running and not pay now i know we see a lot of videos all over social media of certain people running out of these nail salons and most of the time let's just keep it real can i keep it real with you yes uh most of the time they show black women doing this i'm just gonna keep it all the way funky today like some old batch of collard greens you get what i'm saying now they usually show black women doing this but at the same time it's more than black women that steal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Everybody steal. No matter what color you are. You get what I'm saying? So as in this case right here, we unfortunately have, yes, two Mexican chicks as you all can see. Now, we couldn't really see the front of the big girl, but she's Mexican also. Now, we have the little skinny chick name, and she goes by the name of Kelsey. Yes, Kelsey. K-E-L-S-E-Y. Better known as F.B. Kelsey. And some of y'all might be looking around like, Trey, what in the hell do the F.B. stand for? I'm going to tell you what it stands for right here as this picture zoom in. The LB stands for that flat back. That girl ain't got a lick of ass on her. Now, I understand, Kelsey, that you went in there and tried to get your uh, little nails done or whatnot. But at the same time, boo-boo, who in the hell stole your booty? And why your butt so damn flat? Now, also, how in the hell are you going to sag in some tight leggings? I don't understand that right there. Can somebody, anybody, not scream, but anybody that hear my voice, if you got an extra piece of ass cheek, could you please... Send it to me so I can send it to Kelsey right here so she can grow her some booty because it's a sad shame for a woman to walk around less than down like that. Now back to the video. As you all can tell, these two women 
had no intentions on paying this bill. Now, I wish the big girl, yes, the bigger one looking like Ray Lewis back in the day, that's what we call a linebacker. And I'm going to tell you all this right here. Before I start doing my meet and greets uh, later on this year and also next year or whatnot, because you know your boy been healing, but I'm almost healed up now. Anyway, before I do my meet and greets, uh, I need about four women just like that, not for sexual pleasures or whatnot. No, I need four women built like her, like a linebacker. And I ain't talking about linebacker like in a football. No, we talking about lion backer. Look at the bottom. L I O N B A C K A. A lion backer. That's what we need because she built like a lion from the back. You know what I'm saying? I need four of those women to come do security for me and I will pay you handsomely. Well, uh, I will pay you good. Now, as you all may know by now, is that, you know, there's no reason for a grown person, if you're grown, you're able to get your butt up and do work, you're able to go to work. There's no reason for a grown person to sit up here and go into a place of business and try to steal anything from anybody. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a woman, because some of y'all sitting on a gold mine, some of y'all sitting on a landmine, because that thing ain't hitting on nothing. Ain't nobody going to pay nothing for that. Now, as you all can tell, at the end of the video, Flatback Kelsey Decide to run and jump in this black Dodge Charger. And I already seen the whole play when it all went down. Because these women had no intent on never playing these people at one happy nails. Now, as you all can tell, it's a black guy. And it's always some damn black guy messing around with these broke chicks or whatnot. And I'm not trying to throw salt on no damn body. But, man, we got to do better. And we're going to mess with somebody, especially if you got a nice ride. Because that is a nice Dodge Challenger. If you got a nice ride, there's no reason whatsoever for you to be messing with a broke-ass chick. So let's just keep it real on that note right there. There's no reason for you to be messing with a broke-ass woman. Because I guarantee you this. If the shoe was on the other foot and she was in a nice bins and you didn't have nothing, guess what? <laughs> I doubt very seriously she'd be messing with you. So once again, there's no reason for anybody to have something going on in their life to be messing with a broke person. But at the same time, why didn't the guy pay for flatback Kelsey to get her nails did? Now, I understand, unless you messing around with both of the girls, having sex with both of them, there's no way a man going to pay for two women to get their nails done or whatnot. Let's say some family members that he really love them. But at the same time, ask yourself this. Since you rolled up there with this guy, Flatback Kelsey. If you were the guy and the only way that you can get your nails did is by you running out on a place of business, stealing from them basically, and then turn around trying to threaten a man with a taser or whatnot when you're in the wrong. Did you see that? She ran out the business and then going to tell the man to stop following her. You know, the manager of One of Happy Nails. Going to tell Jose to stop following her when she was the one in the wrong. And you have people that would do you just like that. You know what I'm saying? They would do you so damn wrong. And then when you confront them, guess what? They want to act like you the one that's in the wrong. When the whole time, they are the wrong that's wrong. Now, back to what I was saying. Women, if you go into a nail salon with a guy and the guy happened to have a decent car, Ask yourself this right here, because all oh, this could have been prevented, number one, if Kelsey would have had her own money, but also if the guy would have paid for this woman to get her nails did, because I'm sure he knew this woman, because who in the hell let a stranger ride in the car with them, and especially who in the hell takes a stranger to the nail salon, sit there and wait for them, and then when they steal some, they go outside the door and crank the car up and wait on them. So evidently, I said this to say that. These people must know each other. You get what I'm saying? So ask yourself this, women, who in the hell goes to a place of business with a guy and you have to go in there and steal, which is by choice. You're doing it on your own. But if you were a guy, he can't even get your nails done. Why in the hell are you with him? That's why I won't know right there. But at the same time, at the same time, I understand that, you know, we are living in some hard times, but guess what? There's always somebody hiring. You know what I'm saying? I passed by 10 damn fast food places just the other day. Guess what? All of them had a nine for hiring sign, but I get it. Everybody want to do only fans. Everybody want to be bloggers or whatnot. Nobody wants to sit up here and work. But then when you don't work, guess what? You can't pay your damn bills. And the word for today is, guess what? Yes, pay your bills. Because some of y'all don't like paying your damn bills or whatnot. You can get mad at me all you want to, pay your bills. Because guess what? What if you was Jose and what if you was the owner of One Happy Nails and these two broke-ass helpers come in there and ran out on you? You'll be upset too. It's amazing. It's amazing that they did not do this to no Asian people. Because guess what? Them Asian folks would have ran their ass down like that guy from Terminator. You know what I'm saying? That cyborg cop, that renegade cop that was chasing after those people. Them Asian would run you down just like that. Matter of fact, they wouldn't even made it up out the damn nail salon. How many videos we done turned on and seen the Asian people whooping the hell out of people? It don't matter. We don't see them whoop on black people. We don't see them whoop on other Asians. We don't even see them whoop on a couple damn Mexicans or whatnot. Asians don't give a damn. They're going to get their what? They buckety bucks. You feel me? Now, back to what I was saying before I close the story. I ain't come to be long. I just came to be strong. Now, 
my whole problem with this whole situation other than the fact that, you know, you ran down on these people and you never know by you running out on these people that this was going to go to social media and got your face all plastered up. And my only regret, well, there's two regrets, actually. My only regret is this right here, is that we could have got the big girl face in her name. And also, the main regret is Kelsey, once again, in closing. What in the hell happened to your booty, Shawty? Who in the hell stole your ass? That's why I want to know. Look at that once again before we close this video. And how in the hell you sagging? And tight leggings got your panties showing in every damn thing. But guess what? Ain't nothing down there. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here in closing. Look here. If you go to a place of business, pay the people. You get what I'm saying? But I'm going to also say this in closing. If you happen to know who these two broke-ass helpful is, the number to one happy nail so we can drop that down. Because if we snitch over here, we don't give a damn. We're going to tell on you. Anyway, the number is 972 279 339. Notice I had to concentrate, make sure I gave y'all the right number because we trying to really get these broke helpers off the street. Guess what? If they still in like that, guess what they're going to do? They'll still the stink off of you know what. Now I'm going to say this also. You all have a blessed weekend. Watch your front and watch your back. And guess what? You just never know where the attack is going to come from. But I'm going to tell you this right here. Look here. If you're a grown ass person, be grown. Pay your own damn bills. It's no need for a grown person, big or small, to run out on a place of business over a little small bill or whatnot because you knew damn well when you pulled up in a damn parking lot, you had no intention on paying these people. You feel me? But at the same time, you know, put yourself in these people's shoes who own this place of business. What if that was you out there having to chase behind these two helpers? Then they got the nerdy one threatening you. The big girl just took off running. I don't even blame her. But anyway, once again, in closing, if you all happen to know who these people are, please contact One Happy Never. They need that $170. Anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and have a great weekend. And I will see you all very soon on the Trey King Show. And much love to all of you all. And thank you all for the love and support. We're going on almost seven years. People, can you believe it? Anyway, you all have a great day and a great weekend. And be safe. And guess what? I'm out.